Have you ever heard of Tan 618? For a long time, it was considered the largest black hole ever discovered, with an estimated mass of 66 billion times that of our Sun and a colossal diameter of around 390 billion kilometers. It seemed to be the ultimate limit of what we could find in the universe. Just to give you an idea, you could easily fit 11 entire solar systems inside its gravitational reach. It's like placing all the planets, moons, and the sun itself inside a single dark sphere where not even light can escape. But since the universe loves to surprise us, that title of the largest black hole didn't last long. Just when we think we've seen it all, the cosmos finds a way to prove us wrong. There's still so much more out there waiting to be discovered. And that's exactly what happened with the arrival of a new star in the black hole scene. Phoenix, a star. A name that, until recently, meant nothing to most people. But now, it's become the center of attention in the world of astrophysics. Phoenix a star is a supermassive black hole located an impressive 8.6 billion light years away from Earth. It sits at the center of one of the largest galaxy clusters ever observed, known as the Phoenix Cluster. This cluster is home to hundreds of galaxies, but it's the central galaxy, Phoenix A, that draws attention for hosting one of the largest black holes humanity has ever found. And when we say largest, we're not exaggerating. The black hole at the heart of this galaxy is estimated to have a mass of no less than 100 billion times that of the Sun. Yes, you heard that right. 100 billion. Its diameter is also jaw-dropping, about 590 billion kilometers. That makes the once-dominant Tan 618 look modest. Phoenix a star is roughly 1.5 times more massive and 1.2 times larger. We're talking about a scale that goes far beyond our everyday understanding. It's as if nature itself is pushing the boundaries of what's possible. What's even more surprising is that the galaxy Phoenix A, despite having this cosmic monster at its core, is forming new stars at an insane rate, far more than the Milky Way. That alone breaks several rules that scientists use to follow. After all, a black hole that massive, surrounded by overheated gas, would normally prevent star formation, right? But here, reality seems to follow a different script. What really puzzles astronomers is this very paradox. Under normal conditions, a supermassive black hole like Phoenix a star should make the environment around it too hostile for stars to form. That's because the bigger the black hole, the more energy it emits, heating up the surrounding gas to such extreme temperatures that it can't cool down enough to collapse under gravity and create new stars. But in Phoenix A, the exact opposite is happening. The galaxy is producing stars at a rate 740 times higher than that of our Milky Way. How is that even possible? The answer might lie in a delicate balance that we're still trying to understand. Somehow, the heat generated by Phoenix is being counteracted by an efficient cooling mechanism. This allows part of the surrounding gas to lose energy and condense, creating an environment where stars can be born. It's almost like watching fire and ice exist in the same space, a real puzzle for science. On top of that, the absurd amount of matter present in the Phoenix Cluster may have contributed to this unusual behavior. This cluster is one of the densest ever discovered, filled with hot gas, cosmic dust, stars, and entire galaxies all moving around a common gravitational center. In an environment like that, the fuel available for the black hole is practically unlimited. But it's not just the star formation that's impressive. The big question hanging in the air is, how did Phoenix a star grow to such a colossal size in a universe that's only 13.8 billion years old? Based on the most conservative calculations, there shouldn't have been enough time for a black hole to grow that much. Unless, something unusual happened. One of the most discussed possibilities among scientists is black hole mergers. The idea is that over billions of years, Phoenix a star didn't just absorb diffuse matter like gas and dust, but also smaller black holes. And every time that happened, it gained not only mass, but also greater gravitational strength, making it even more effective at devouring whatever comes near. Black hole mergers aren't rare in the universe. In fact, we've already detected several of these cosmic collisions through the gravitational waves they produce, thanks to sensitive instruments like LIGO and Virgo. But we've never witnessed a merger involving black holes as massive as Phoenix a star. If something like that really did happen, the gravitational waves generated would have been enormous, spreading out over billions of light years. The problem is, the farther the distance, the weaker the signal that reaches us. And considering Phoenix a star is more than 8 billion light years from Earth, it's likely that we just haven't detected these waves yet because of our current technological limits. But the possibility remains open, and it's one of the most exciting questions in modern cosmology. Another factor that might have sped up Phoenix a star's growth is a phenomenon known as rapid feeding, 
when a black hole consumes matter at much higher rates than normal over short periods of time. This may have happened at specific moments in the universe's history, like during galactic mergers or when massive amounts of gas fell suddenly toward the galaxy's core. These intense feeding phases could have made Phoenix a star grow exponentially during certain periods. In short, all signs point to Phoenix a star having developed in a highly favorable environment, like it was born in the right place at the right time. But the mystery remains, does it represent an exception to the laws of physics we currently know? Or are we just beginning to understand how black holes really evolve? While scientists continue trying to unravel all the secrets behind Phoenix a star, one thing's for sure, it has become one of the most fascinating objects in the entire known universe. And the more we study it, the more questions we find. After all, if a black hole of this magnitude is not only able to exist but also promote star formation around it, what else might we be about to discover? This paradox, a colossus that both destroys and creates at the same time, challenges our most basic ideas of how the cosmos is supposed to work, and it forces us to rethink theories that, until recently, seemed solid. Could it be that supermassive black holes like Phoenix, a star, play an even more crucial role in galaxy evolution than we thought? Maybe, instead of just swallowing everything around them, they also help shape the universe by encouraging the formation of new stars? Another unavoidable question. Is there a limit to how big a black hole can get? Phoenix, a star, seems to suggest otherwise. That given the right conditions, enough matter, time, and a chaotic environment, a black hole might keep growing indefinitely. But how far can that go? And what if there are even bigger ones out there, hidden in parts of the universe we can't even observe yet? Remember, the observable universe is just a tiny fraction of the cosmic total. There could be regions so far away that their light hasn't had time to reach us. Out there, even more colossal monsters might be watching us from afar. If Phoenix a star keeps growing, it could become one of the most important subjects in modern cosmology. More advanced instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope or future generations of radio telescopes might bring clearer answers about its structure, origin, and even the elements that surround it. We may soon find similar patterns in other clusters, which would tell us whether Phoenix a star is an exception or a rule we just never noticed before. And it's discoveries like this that make space exploration so fascinating. Each new clue changes everything. What was impossible yesterday might be reality today. What we once thought was a limit suddenly becomes just another starting point for something even bigger. So what will the future hold for Phoenix a star? Will it continue growing until it swallows everything around it? Other galaxies? Other black holes? Or is there some unknown mechanism in the universe that stops giants like this from growing forever? These are unanswered questions, for now. But it's exactly this uncertainty that fuels science the drive to understand what seems impossible. And if one day we do find a black hole even more massive, even older, that could rewrite everything we know about the birth of the first cosmic structures, the role of black holes in shaping the universe, and maybe even the origin of space and time itself. For now, we keep watching, questioning, and learning. Phoenix a star might just be the beginning of a new era in astronomy, a turning point, a window into a universe that's far from done revealing its secrets. If you've made it this far, it's because you share that same cosmic curiosity. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and turn on notifications. That way, you won't miss any new content about the universe's greatest mysteries. And of course, let us know in the comments. Do you think Phoenix a star really is the biggest black hole in the universe? Or are we still yet to find something even more terrifying out there? Thanks so much for watching, and until our next journey through space.